Oh, and just so I don't get a copyright, that is Ozzy. Mm. Uh, talk about being under the dome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a rainy day tomorrow, off and on. There's my wife out there on the front porch. And uh, as you can see, but I, I'm really putting up this video today because we got a lot of people barking at moons. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so uh, you got this whole corona hole and all this stuff discussion going on in your site. How that happened, I do not know, except this uh, Dread Dragon guy uh, brought up some Fox News article I've never read in my life. <laughs> so, uh, to make some very numerous comments that I could put on your site, a uh, very short story, you know, my reference was only to a CME that m missed us by a couple of weeks and that that type of energy is in fact coming uh, at us and, and just missed us by two weeks, okay, and and, and I don't know, CIA uh, false report, I don't see their in interest except again to reiterate why people would be motivated to, with these fear-mongering stories like asteroids, fireballs, CMEs, all this stuff is to justify the militarization of space and to get you, the taxpayer, to pay for it through these acronym departments like DARPA and others. Okay, and so either way my point is proven. Okay, and that geoengineering is actually something you need to bring up in your conversations. You and Dutch need to get together and uh, I don't even want to be a you know, a part of it except hopefully to bring you two together or others like you bring up this issue about global weather modification, okay? They do it locally to control local weather. Everybody thinks, oh, you can't control world weather. No, you can't, but you can control local weather and they do that by spraying these aerosols into our skies so they can be manipulated by the temperatures, the sun, timing, and the local radar stations that they have built around here. Some of you even say the Gwen Towers and cell phone towers can have an effect once they network those in because of the power those put out. So you can make it rain in a neighborhood if you want, okay? Uh, they want to be able to make, control the weather on micro scales, not on huge scales necessarily, okay? Uh, so, you know, flip this around a little bit, okay? Uh, instead of trying to think, oh, let's control the whole world's weather. No, I don't care about China's weather, right? Do you? All right, I mean, you put it out there, you do. Okay, I'm con concerned about the global weather, but those are those areas, people controlling their own local weather, sending their own typhoons their way, and etc. China needs a lot of water, okay, to cleanse all the pollution out that they put into their environment and dump in their rivers. They dump dead pig bodies in their river by the hundreds of, even thousands, okay? That's the type of crap that they have to rinse out of the Yangtze River. So that's why they need to flood it all the time, okay? Just to give you an, an example of why China would be consider, considering modifying their weather and, and the Asian Pacific's weather and etc. Your earthquakes and coronal holes, I give a lot of weight to. Um, but I also believe man can create earthquakes too, okay? It's really not that hard if you have control of the atmosphere okay so anyway I'm just sitting here now rambling but either way uh, so sorry for this coronal whole issue on your on your website today that forced you to uh, take I'm sure an hour of your times out to produce that six and a half minute video I mean it's I know it's not easy and uh, it's hard work what you do and uh, I listen and respect you and uh, and uh, never thumbs down anything you have to say because you're always adding uh, to the discussion and that I appreciate. So with that said, uh, here's a quick upload for you, YouTube. Take care.